this is the healthiest vegetable in the world. That's according to research done by the CDC that looked at a large variety of vegetables and what the different nutrients they provide. This one scored the highest. This plant is packed with nutrients, but it can be really difficult to find in the store. Thankfully, I figured out that you can grow it hydroponically and it grows really well next to other leafy greens. So I've got it next to lettuce and I've got some herbs behind it and it's growing really well. What I'm able to do is I can keep clipping off leaves to harvest and use in salads or other dishes and it'll just keep growing new leaves. So I've got a continual supply here. It doesn't require anything fancy as far as hydroponic growing is concerned. I have a hydroponic rail system here set up and I've been using this for a long time to grow a lot of different plants. This was my first time trying cress. That's what this plant is. But I've grown lots of other plants this way. The basic idea of how this system works is I've got a reservoir with nutrients, water and nutrients, and that water has, gets pumped up into this rail system and then flows through it and then goes back down to the lower system, flows through that, and then goes down, back down to the reservoir. So it's a circulating system and it's providing everything that the plant roots need. So the plant roots inside these rails are getting water, they're getting nutrients, and then they're also getting contact with air since this rail system is only partially filled with water and nutrients. So that gives the roots everything they need. Then we have grow lighting that provides the lighting the plants need. So I can grow plants all year round, even through the winter where, where I live in the winter, there's no chance of growing anything outside. So I found Crest grows really well in the same way that other greens do. It doesn't require any special nutrients or nutrient concentrations or anything like that. And it's a great plant to add to your hydroponic system. If you want to learn more about how to set up a system like this, you can check out my website. I've got a free guide on how to build a rail system and get it set up for growing produce right in your home all year round. And if you do that, I'd recommend giving cress a try. There are a couple different kinds. So there's water cress and there's upland cress. Both of them are very similar how they look and very similar in nutrition. Um, both of them can grow hydroponically. They like water, so having a hydroponic system actually is probably easier than growing them in the soil. So I checked that out, I recommend it, and it's a cool plant to grow. My experience with the flavor of this plant is that it's very peppery and fairly strong. So I don't think you would want to make an entire salad out of this plant, but it works really well when you mix up a salad with lettuce and then chop a few leaves and put them in as a garnish and it adds a nice pop of flavor. It also works really well in eggs or in other dishes that you want just a little bit of peppery flavor and some more nutrients. And again, having a plant where I can just clip off a few leaves is perfect for that. If you want to check out my website on how to build a system, I'll leave a link in the description below on how to do that. Thanks for watching.